Hi, good day. This will be a very brief introduction as to how you would go about using the Learning Exchange to access your courses. Once you've registered, you will receive an email with your login credentials and the course link to access your course. You can copy and paste the link into your address bar or you could type it in as well. Your username would be your student ID and your password would be also provided to you in the email, which you will change at a later point. Once you have logged in, you will see a list of the course or courses that you are registered for. To enter any one of your courses, you click on the name of the course and it will take you to the course page for that specific course. You can now navigate this course page using the navigation bar on your right to scroll through the middle of the page. Or to your left, there's a column where you can click on any one of these links to get to anywhere on that page. So I will now show you how to get into your online class. You scroll down from here until you see course meeting room. You will see the Zoom logo next to it. We use Zoom as our delivery platform. For those of you with pop-up blockers, you will get this page at first. You could click here to move on to the actual page you're supposed to be seeing. But before you do so, I would uh, um, recommend, sorry, that you allow the permissions for Zoom so you wouldn't continue getting this pop-up page blocked. Click here. So this is a page you're supposed to be getting once you click on the course meeting room. You will see your course name. And to get into the class, you simply cl click on join. Launch meeting. Agree and join. Once your tutor has signed in or logged into the class already, you will automatically be um, joined into the, the classroom. So now I've closed off everything and I'm back at the course page, the main course page. I will de just demonstrate um, going back into the, the Zoom meeting room with the pop-up blocker disabled or the permissions enabled for this course page, it will take you straight to the Zoom meeting room for this particular course. In this area, you will also notice you will have some tabs to the top, cloud recordings. This page or this tab will take you to a list of previous classes that have been recorded that have, that have already happened and the recordings will be placed in this area. So if you missed a class or if you would like to review a class, you could click on cloud recordings and it will take you to the classes that have already been completed. I will now demonstrate how to upload an assignment. Once your tutor has uploaded or posted an assignment to the course page, you will notice it on the main course page. So here you can see an example of the assignment, the actual assignment um, displayed here. To get into the assignment or to submit, you click on the assignment name and you will click on the add submission um, button. You will also see the time remaining to submit your assignment if you have already been, um, if you have already submitted, sorry, your grade if once the tutor have posted the grade. So let's go back to clicking on the add submission button to submit the assignment. So you could submit your assignment in two ways. You could either drag or drop or you could upload the file directly. So I will demonstrate the drag and drop method. You go to the area where you have, where you have your assignment saved you drag and you drop it into this area. Simple like that. So now we will be attaching the assignment using the add file button, which is here. You could also add a folder, but we will be using the add file button. 
choose a file you go to the area on your desktop or your in your documents wherever you have the assignment saved double click and upload this file it's as simple as what you call it attaching something to an email since we already have the file loaded from the drag and drop method you will get this message so i will simply overwrite it and here you have your assignments uploaded click on save changes to submit so now you will see you have submitted your assignment for grading and once the tutor have posted your grade you can also get it in this area so let's go back to the course page the main course page you can also navigate the site through the top of the page if you click on the course code it will take you back to the main course page there is an area which i would recommend everybody going through on their own time which is the self-paced orientation so in here you will get some more information about the learning exchange and different things you can do on the site different things that you may encounter some new some you have already done but probably forgot how to do you may need a refresher so you could also always sorry visit this part of the site to get your step-by-step -step procedures and um practice now i will show you how to log out of the site and also how to reset your password in the event that you need to change it or if you're unable to log in um, from the get-go so to your top right you will see your initials you click on there click on log out and you've been logged out okay so now we're back at our login page this is where you go to reset your password in the event that you need to or if you're having login issues from the get-go we normally recommend the first thing you do is go through the login or oh, sorry reset your password um procedure and this is where you go to do it to the bottom of the login button you will see forget forgot your password sorry click on here and you need to enter some more details or more information before you get to the actual um area where you put in your new password enter your student id number What is your last name? The year you were born. And now you will get to the area where you will put in your new password. Your new password must contain all of these um, for it to be accepted so let's put in something that we can remember as we go along you will see the site checking all of the requirements that you have fulfilled so far then you confirm your password by typing it over once they have matched up you will get a green light or green check mark for everything and you click on save new password and that's it